Oh, we're back, baby. And definitely not better than ever. She is doing it. She's this really doing it. And she's, she's doing, doing it. it. Yeah, All by herself. Really trying. Yeah. On this gorgeous, sunny spring Wednesday afternoon, I thought, what could I do to make myself miserable? And to that I say, organize my closet. Let me just show you all exactly what we're working with. I share this room with my boyfriend yet I have this big ass clothing rack just full of my clothes that desperately needs to be organized. This disgusting pile of shoes, sneakers, and boots and clothes that have fallen off my clothing rack and are now lost in the deep nothingness void that is my closet. This pile of clothes that I just keep here because I have nowhere else to put them. And these tubs under my bed that I have no idea if I will even get to today. To be fair though, some of these are my boyfriends, so like, <laughs> they're not all my clothes. The game plan is get rid of everything I don't like. Just get rid of it. That's, that's my entire plan. I think how I want to tackle this is to go over everything one by one, pull out each piece, see if I like it, see if it still gives me that like wow factor, and if it doesn't, it's out of here. But also I haven't put away my winter stuff yet, um, it's like currently 80 degrees outside, so I will also be putting away winter stuff in this video. Also if you hear my cat in the background, um, this is why. First things first, these are all my corsets. I keep them on the end of my rack just because that's where I like them. I'm going to be keeping these just because they fit me. Sometimes I like them for like the concept of a photo shoot or something or an outfit, but I don't really wear them too often because like they're impractical and uncomfortable to wear for long periods of time. Next up, um, this is literally inside out but this is, I put this away so poorly um, last time I wore it, but this is just a crochet dress that I thrifted. I cut the slip out so that way I could wear it like see-through if I wanted to, or I could just wear it with a slip. So I'm obviously keeping this because I love this dress, but I think I'm going to put it away just because it's like a thicker crocheted material and it's way too warm to wear during like spring and winter. Next up is this vest that I actually just got recently at a vintage store and I really love it. It fits me perfectly. The crop is like impeccable and you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna try it on. I just really enjoy this piece. Like it makes me feel so cool. So obviously I'm keeping it. I really love this Desigual dress. I think it's so cool and like interesting. And it has like this little like ballerina dancer on the back. And it's definitely one of the most like just interesting and cool dresses I've seen. Um, but it is a large, so it's a little small on me now. Um, but I think I can still wear it. It's just mostly tight in the arms. Um, I am gonna put it away though for winter because I am not gonna wear this in the summer heat because I would like to not get heat stroke. Next up, we have this crochet poncho with this fringe on the bottom. Um, I don't ever really wear this and I never get rid of it because every time I think of getting rid of it, I'm like, oh, but I'm gonna wear it one day. But like, it is really cute. I don't know, maybe I'll wear it more now that I have brown hair because when I had red hair, I didn't really like wearing blue. I just didn't think it looked good on me. But now that I have brown hair, I actually kind of love blue on me as you can tell from my blue eyeshadow. So we're keeping, but I might put it away soon. I might keep it out just a little bit longer in case it's one of those like chillier spring days, but soon it's going to be going to winter storage. This piece I have such a soft spot for. I found this last year at the Goodwill bins and I was immediately drawn to it because it just has all these like embroidered and like sewn on patches and it's just really cool. Like I love this jacket and I never find like really cool denim jackets. So I'm going to be keeping this. Um, I wish I wore it more than I do, but I also think it's just because like if I can't see things super easily, I just tend to forget they exist, which is why I'm trying to declutter my closet right now, but it's a keep for now. Next up, it looks like we actually have a two for one. Um, I don't know what was happening when I put this away, but 
it was happening. First, there's this lingerie piece from Adore Me, I believe, which I do think I'm gonna keep because it's like cute, but I'm gonna put it in my lingerie drawer because I just feel like that's where my lingerie should go. And then this dress, I do love it. It's just like this peach uh, maxi slip dress, which I'm showing you very poorly right now, but it has this really pretty like cream lace detailing on the sides. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this. I might. Um, Sorry, I don't know why I was doing that. I should just shove my big head through here. Um, I might keep this. I have to try it on to see if I still like it because honestly it's been a long time since I wore it. Like I think the last time I wore it was probably a year ago. Um, but I'll figure it out and if not I'm definitely gonna sell it because somebody else deserves to love this piece. Oh, 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 oh my. Oh, it's stuck. Um, next up we have belts and ties. I literally just picked up all these belts and this shirt from my floor. By the way, I am keeping this firefighter shirt because it's vintage and like so cute. This is the bounty I collected from my floor. Now, I don't really want to get rid of any of my belts or ties, but I definitely do need to organize them. So I'm going to do that real quick. Side note, but look at how cool this tie is, like these marathon runners. Um, they are very freaky in the face, but I think they're cool nonetheless. Next up is slip dresses, and I have been dreading this one because I consider myself almost a collector of slip dresses, at least I used to, but now a lot of those slip dresses don't even fit me anymore but I still think they're beautiful. So like getting rid of them is going to hurt my soul a little bit. First up, I'm keeping this black slip because it's what I wear under my black crochet dress. So like, obviously that's a necessity. This slip dress, I think I'm also going to keep. I really love this slip dress. Like the little ruffle on the bottom and the little like flower bows on the straps are so cute, but I just never wear it. And I don't think it fits me anymore. So I think I'm gonna sell it. My friend thrifted this one for me and I do appreciate it because I do really love the color and like the flowers, but I just never wear it. So I'm either gonna donate it or sell it. Once upon a time, I really loved this dress, but once again, I don't think it fits me that well anymore. So I'm gonna sell it. This is a different black slip that I kept because I didn't have another one, but now that I have one that I like more, I'm gonna be getting rid of this one. So I might donate this or I might sell it depending on the interest it generates. This one hurts a lot because I do love this like blue midi slip dress with like this lace detailing on the top, but I just don't think it fits me anymore. So it's a sell. I thought for sure I was gonna sell this, but now that I look at it again, like I kind of like it. So I think I'm gonna keep it for now. Also found this tie on the floor. I honestly don't wear like baby doll lingerie tops a lot, but I do really enjoy this one and think it's really pretty. So I'm gonna keep it. This one I bought, I believe on Depop when I wanted to be a fembot for Halloween, but I never did it. And it has this really pretty little pearl detail with like the little rosette thing. Um, so because I don't wear it and I never was a fembot, unfortunately, I'm going to be selling it. This slip dress I actually bought because I wanted a green dress that was similar to Nicole Kidman's dress in Practical Magic, like, you know, the iconic one. But unfortunately, this is too short for me, so I never really got to wear it. But it is vintage Victoria's Secret, so I'm gonna be selling this probably. Um... This is also a vintage Victoria's Secret slip dress that I got off of Depop, but you can literally rip this from my dead cold hands. Like, I don't care, even if this doesn't fit me anymore, like I am never getting rid of it. And that's a promise. This dress is really cool and pretty and might, it's also Victoria's Secret. So I do have a lot of like old Victoria's Secret slip dresses. Um, I might sell this one too, cause I just, I never wear it. And then we have this gorgeous pale pastel yellow slip dress. I actually wore this to Miami last summer. It is really beautiful. Um, I don't know if it still fits me, but if it does, I'm gonna keep it. And if it doesn't, 
I'm gonna sell it. I got this gorgeous white slip dress at the bins because I thought I would wear it more. But like, look at this lace detailing and then like this little bow with the little roses inside. Like, it truly is a beautiful dress. Um, I'm definitely not gonna sell it. The strap just came off. Uh, I'm gonna donate this, but I wish I had worn it more. And that concludes the slip dress portion of this video. Next up is this really cool little like cropped jacket that I thrifted during fall that I'm actually going to try on because I feel like you need to see it on me to like get it. Um, it is really cool and I do enjoy it. Um, I don't want to button it up right now, honestly. It's cool. Um, have I really worn it? No. Uh, so I'm probably going to either sell this or put it away for next year and just hope that I get better by then. This is an Adormi corset that I got last year because I worked with Adormi, so they sent this to me. It is really cool and beautiful. I don't have a lot of opportunities to wear it, but I do think I'm going to keep it just because I think it's a really cute, like, lingerie piece, but also just like a layering piece if I want to have like a really cool and interesting outfit. So it's a keeper. Next up is this white dress that I got at Ross a few years ago. It reminds me of that one Princess Polly dress that like went viral on TikTok a few years ago. Um, I'm not getting rid of this because it really is like a staple dress for me during summer. Like I wear this dress a lot and it's a really good beach cover up too because the boobs are like a little see-through. So I will be keeping this. If you like hear my squeaky floor, I am so sorry. The building I live in is like really old and our landlord just does not care about maintaining it. So there's nothing I can do about it, unfortunately, except try to stay like really, really still. Once again, we got a twofer. I thrifted this a while ago and I thought I was gonna wear it way more than I actually do, but I don't, so it's getting donated. And then this black vest I have that I buttoned poorly trying to put away, but I'm keeping it nonetheless. Next up, we have this dress that I thrifted and it's actually from Free People. I love the little bow in the back. Um, I am gonna keep this, but I'm gonna put it away for the winter because obviously it's a sweater dress and it'd be way too hot to wear this now, but it is very cute and I do enjoy it. I got this cardigan from a thrift store in Chicago and I do really love it. Like it's really interesting and cool, but it does need to be put away for winter. This cat cardigan is one of my favorite thrift finds ever. Like I love this so much and I will never get rid of it, but you guessed it, winter pile. One of my subscribers actually thrifted this for me. They DM'd me and told me that they saw this at the thrift store and it reminded them of me so much. So I got it off them on Depop for like the price of shipping because I obviously wasn't going to make them pay for shipping like they already paid for the top. Um, so I am going to be keeping this. Once upon a time, I really love this vest, but it is a size 12. So now it's too tight on me. So I'm either gonna sell this or donate it. This baby right here is one of my most prized possessions. I found this at a thrift store in Chicago and I literally gasped when I found this. So once again, you can rip this from my cold dead hands. With that being said, I am putting it away for fall slash winter because I think this is like too warm to wear right now. I love this vest so much. Like look at these little cats. But it is a large, so unless I wear it, like, not buttoned up, this just doesn't fit me. So I might have to sell it. I don't know. I'm not really, like, an open vest kind of person. Um, but it does make me really sad. I really love this vest. Um, it might be a sell, unfortunately. I actually found this harness top at the same place I found the other top that is, like, my holy grail. Um, and it is so cool. I love it. Do I wear it a lot? No. Am I getting rid of it? Also no. So it's a keep. I don't know how I feel about this dress. It's like a black mini cowl neck dress with this like kind of like rhinestone-y back. Um, it is cute and it's like a nice basic to have. So I do think I am going to keep it. Um, does it have like a major wow factor to it? No, but I think it's like a good staple to have. This maxi dress reminds me of like peak 90s witchy mom. So like I'm never getting rid of it. 
I love, love, love this tube dress. Like, look at the black embroidery on it and then, like, the bottom. It's just so beautiful. I love it. It is a little tighter on me now, but once again, I just can't get rid of it. I'm sorry. I just love it so much. And to me, it's, like, such a one-of-a-kind piece. Like, I just, I can't love i'm not getting rid of it these are a pair of overalls i have they are a little short on me like they're almost like capri length a little bit maybe a little longer than capri they're just not full length i am keeping them but i do wish they were a little longer this is a bolero that i got sent from minga london I am going to keep it out for now um, because I think that it would be really good on days where it's like spring but a little chilly. So I'm going to wait to put this away for winter. This denim jacket is so cool. Like I'm obviously keeping it. This red dress I love. Like look at the details. The bottom is kind of like asymmetrical. I know it's really horrible the way I'm trying to show this to you all. Um, I love it. But the last time I like wore it out, um, I wore it to the grocery store and a man was very creepy to me in it. So for that reason, I like associate that with this dress. But I also don't want to let men ruin everything. So I'm going to keep this. And in fact, I might actually bring this to Italy with me because it is a cotton dress. Um, so it, I'm keeping it. You know what they say about women, right? We get it done. This is another pair of overalls that I got at... Thick Mall. I was trying to remember the name. I almost said Fat Mall. Thick Mall in Chicago, which was just like an, a shopping event, like a secondhand shopping event for like plus sizes. And this guy was selling this for 10 bucks and he thanked me for buying it because he's like, I've been trying to get rid of them forever. And I tried them on in the bathroom and they fit me well. And they're like full length, perfect length actually for me. So thank you to that guy for selling them to me for $10. I got this off of Depop because I thought it would look better on me than it does. But I honestly, um, I can't tell. I can't tell. So I think I'm gonna keep this for now, but I might sell it in the future. This literally still has the tag on it, but to be fair to me, I only bought this like a few weeks ago. And I bought this specifically for my trip to Italy because it's just this like white linen-y polka dot um, ruffle dress. And it reminded me a lot of Realization Par, but Realization Par dresses are like a couple hundred bucks. And I think the largest size they go up to is an XXL. I don't know if they do that for all their dresses. It might be an XL, but I remember looking at their measurements and the XXL looks like it runs a little small. So I don't want to spend hundreds of dollars on a dress that I'm not even sure might fit me. So when I saw this, I was like, perfect. It gives me like Realization Par vibes but it actually fits. Next up is this sad little bolero I cut myself from a sweater that I thrifted. I do really love it, so I'm gonna keep it, but this is a lot thicker than my other bolero, so it's gonna go away for winter. This dress is really cool and I love it. The bottom is kind of poofy, which I know is hard to see because everything is hard to see with my setup, but um, I do think I'm going to keep it and see how much I wear it this year. And if I like don't wear it at all this year, then I'm going to be selling it. I thrifted this top years ago. It's a free people top. It's so witchy and like vampy. I love it. But it is going to be going away for winter because I honestly just don't really see myself wearing this once it's like really hot out. So this is a Skims dress um, that I bought and the strap actually broke and I had to have my mom sew it back on. So I might keep this out for now. But, um, I don't know. Not really a huge fan of the quality. When I first bought this white button-up, I got it because I really liked the ruffles and, like, the little pearl buttons. But I honestly don't ever wear this and don't reach for it. I just got it because I thought, like, I should have this button-up since I don't really wear button-ups a lot. Um, but I think I'm donating it. Now, this white blouse is cool. I'm into it. I am going to be keeping this. This is just a cool black dress with a bunch of like ruffles on it that I wear when I just want to be casual. So it's a keep. This dress reminds me of Wednesday Adams like a lot. Um, I'm keeping it, but I am putting it away for like fall slash winter. This dress I love. Like I love this little like crochet detailing and like the difference in patterns. It's just really cool. And unlike 
a lot of dresses that I've thrifted, so I'm keeping it. I truly cannot tell with this skirt. I do like it a lot. Hmm, let me see what size it even is. Um, I actually don't even see a size in here. I think I'm gonna keep this for now, but if I don't wear it a lot, then I'm gonna like sell it or donate it. I thought this shrug was like really cute, but I never really reach for it. So like it might be a donate. This is like a short sleeve, like bodycon maxi dress. Um, when I got this, I thought it was so cool and I thought I was gonna wear it so much more, but I don't. So I might donate this, but like if anybody watching this like wants it, let me know because then I will list it on Depop and sell it. By the way, I am very bad at reminding you all of this, but I do have a Depop which will be linked in my description below in case any of you would like to purchase something from my closet. This hanger is broken. This is a dress that I got from Tunnel Vision. I do think I'm gonna keep it, but I also think I'm gonna put it away um, because it is like a very thick, like thermal material. So like, it might be okay for now, like for spring, but for summer, like I'm gonna be sweating my ass off in this. I thrifted this nightgown because I was like, I'm definitely gonna wear this. Um, I haven't worn it yet, but I am gonna put it out tonight because I'm going to be wearing this. Like, does this not just look like so cute and cozy? I wanna feel like a 1950s ghost when I go to sleep tonight. I got this when I went thrifting with my best friend. Like, we literally spent a whole day thrifting all over Chicago. Um, it's sheer, and I think I got it because I just wasn't finding anything at any of the thrift stores we went to, but I just, I just don't wear it because I'm like, I don't know how to wear it. It's like, okay, I don't love it that much. So I think I'm gonna donate it. I got this ruffle like wrap top with this like lace detailing on it off of Depop, but I think I'm already gonna sell it because I tried it on the other day and it is a 14. So it's like a little snug on me now. So this might be a sell, which is a shame because I really do love it too. Like I love all the details. It's so cool, but like if it, doesn't fit me like it doesn't fit me this hanukkah cardigan is once again something i will cherish uh my entire life and it's a prized possession and i will literally never get rid of it for as long as i live and honestly if i ever have children my children better keep it my grandchildren better keep it just great times 30 grandchildren better keep it but it is going in the winter box because it's it's wintry and like i it's too warm to wear now and also like we're nowhere near hanukkah this is a sheer black lace bustier, I believe. Um, I keep this because I like it as like a layering piece. I don't know why I just held the hanger in front of my head. Um, I like this as a layering piece, <laughs> so I'm gonna be keeping it. When I first got this dress, it reminded me of something that I would wear if I was in a 90s teen rom-com. Like, it's black, it's velvet, it's got these like sparkly details all over it but I just honestly don't reach for it. So for that, it's a sell. Once again, I got sent both of these boleros from Mingo London. So I am gonna be keeping these, especially because they're lightweight enough for spring. But once it becomes summer, I'm probably gonna put them away. I thrifted this halter dress last year. It's got these cool floral details on them and like an asymmetrical hem, like kind of high-low thing going on. So I am not getting rid of this. And in fact, I am going to wear this sometime soon. I am torn with this dress. I loved this dress when I got it. It's like a short sleeve and has these like little three roses and like a pleated skirt down here. Um, I wore it a lot and then I just stopped wearing it, but I do think it's a really cool piece and it fits me well, so I'm gonna keep it. This top is really cute, but it's just not practical for me and I never really wear it, so I'm gonna sell it. I actually got sent this cardigan in a mystery bundle. I'll put the name of the shop on the screen. Um, I do really love the ruffles. It's really cool and interesting. So I'm gonna keep it out for now, but once it gets like consistently more hot outside, I'm gonna put it away for like fall and winter. My friend actually got this dress on eBay for herself, but it didn't fit, so she gave it to me. Um, I don't know if it would still fit me now, 
but I'm gonna keep this nonetheless and just like put it away in my closet since it's like a nicer, fancier dress. I thought I was gonna wear this a lot and I just don't. So I'm gonna donate it. This is the other thing I got at Thick Mall. It's this like denim maxi overall dress from the brand Starwear. And I had actually been looking for Starwear dresses for like weeks before finding this at Thick Mall. So obviously I took that as my sign and I'm gonna be keeping it. I think this is a cute little like crochet top to wear as like a little cover up or even as like a little summer top. So I am going to be keeping it. Um, I'm just trying it on so you guys can like see the vision and not just like look at like a piece of fabric that's like hanging haphazardly off a hanger. I'm going to move a little faster because I haven't had lunch yet and I'm losing stamina quickly. I am keeping this. I do not feel like untangling this dress but I did get it on eBay so I'm just going to put a photo of it up on the screen. My boyfriend got me this faux fur jacket off of eBay for Christmas so obviously I am keeping it because I love it but I am also putting it away for winter because it's it's a wintry jacket. I love this jacket. Like I love how it has like the suede and then just like the ribbed knit material. So it's a cute. I got this 1960s sleep jacket at a vintage store and I really thought I was going to wear it more, but I think I'm just scared to wear it because I'm not a gentle person and I don't want to ruin this. So for that reason, I think I'm going to sell this. This top reminds me of like Pirates and the Founding Fathers, but like make it 2000s. So obviously I'm keeping it. I love this cropped short sleeve cardigan, but it is like too warm for the weather currently. So I'm putting it away. Last fall, when I went to New York for fashion week I went to a vintage store and I found this like 70s knit crochet top so I am keeping this but I am also going to be putting it away probably for fall not right now though like maybe in the next month or so actually a month from now I will be in Italy so maybe like a month and a half from now love this skirt but it doesn't fit me well at all so I'm selling it this is the dog version of like the other vest I have, which I love so much, but it doesn't fit me that well anymore. Like if I go like, if I suck it in, like I can button it up, but I like don't think mentally I can get rid of it. So I'm gonna keep it. When I found this top, I loved it a lot and I thought I was gonna wear it so much, but I literally never wear it. And as much as I do enjoy it and think it's like really cute, I think for that reason, I'm gonna sell it. I love this puffer vest, but for obvious reasons, I am putting it away for the winter. I waited months for this Tyler McGillivary dress to go on sale and then I bought it. So I am keeping it and that's that. I got this dress like a long time ago, like a couple years ago off of Depop. Um, I love it. I'm keeping it. I love this cute little fishnet cardigan with like this little floral details. So I'm keeping it. I found this slip dress at the bins and like it's so beautiful and long. Um, I don't know if it fits me still or if it fits me well. So I might sell it, but I'm too lazy to try it on right now. Like I literally feel my energy depleting rapidly. So I'll try it on later. This maxi dress is beautiful. I got it at a vintage store, but I just don't really reach for it. So I'm going to sell it. This is a trip NYC like corset slash bustier. And once again, this is one of those pieces where I'm literally never going to get rid of it ever. So it's a keep. I love this slip dress like I love the embroidery on the boobs and I actually wore this to my graduation uh, my college graduation ceremony so I'm keeping it this dress I am literally begging one of you to somebody take it off of my hands I bought this tube dress on Urban Outfitters website last year okay it's strapless it's got this lacy detail on the bottom it's cool it's cool it's really pretty um I bought it for like $80 and I didn't return it and it's too small on me and I've been trying to sell it on Depop forever and people keep adding it to their cart and they won't buy it and I'm really just trying to get rid of this dress so I'm begging someone to please buy it. Just please. I'm begging you. And then there's this dress which I will probably also either end up selling or donating. I just found this dress hanging off the end of my rack. 
Um, I also got this from Urban Outfitters last year, but I'll probably sell it because it was like squeezing my arms when I bought it and I've gained weight since then. So I just don't think it's gonna fit me that well or comfortably, so it's a sell. I promise you I tried to eat lunch before I filmed. Like I was gonna make myself a sandwich, but then as I was making it, I realized my tofurkey deli slices had mold on them, so I had to throw them away. So I ended up eating a sandwich with Swiss lettuce, pickles, and mustard on it. I literally took two bites and was like, I cannot eat this monstrosity. Um, so I was like, I'll just eat after I film. No biggie, I'll go buy food somewhere. Well, look how that's backfiring on me now. Now, if you'll excuse this brief intermission for me to go get lunch before I lose my effing mind, I will either be back to clean up after lunch or I will be back tomorrow where we will continue decluttering my mess of a closet. I changed into a dress because I just realized I am not in the mood to be wearing pants. That would happen to me right now. You can probably most definitely hear my AC blasting. But like since when did it get so hot out? I feel like it was just winter and it was like 40 degrees outside and now I'm like hot. I know I'm not mentally well when I'm really hungry because a girl inside the restaurant told me that I was really pretty and I wanted to cry. Like I literally almost started crying. I got this poke bowl with tofu and like a bunch of goodies on top and a peach banana smoothie with brown sugar boba. Okay, I'm full, I nourish, I took my iron pill, I watched a little video essay about Uptown Girls 2003. I'm doing good. It's floor time, baby. I have a whole mess of shoes here and honestly still some clothes. So um, this is gonna take a hot sack. I think my game plan is that I'm gonna take all my shoes and just dump them on the floor and then I'm gonna like neatly put them back. I'm actually like a little embarrassed. Like look how gigantic this mountain of shoes is. Here's a different angle, like look at it. It's like battling Mount Everest for like tallest mountain ever. I actually don't even know if Mount Everest is the tallest mountain ever. I need to catch up on my mountain facts. <sighs> I swept the floor and now it's time to put all these shoes back. I thrifted these boots years ago and I know they're just like Halloween costume go-go boots, but they're still like, they're just so good, I love them. And of course my white cowboy boots, which are always a staple. I never really wear these boots. They are cute and I do like them. I just feel like I have brown boots that I enjoy wearing more, so I might get rid of them. I got these LEI platform sandals at the bins a couple years ago, um, and they're definitely a keep. I was definitely going through a platform phase a couple years ago because I bought these brown Steve Madden ones off of Depop, but I'm also keeping these because duh. I love these boots. Like if you watch my TikTok, you have probably seen these boots more times than you can count in my styling videos. So obviously they're a keep. These black boots I already have listed on my Depop. No, I don't because they just got sold, which is unfortunate news for anyone who might have wanted them, but not for me. Because they're just too small for my calves. So those are obviously not staying. Now these black boots I just recently bought off of eBay because they're wide calf and I wanted like basic black boots that actually fit me so clearly I'm not getting rid of them. I got these little heels off of ThreadUp when I worked with ThreadUp last year and I love like the heel how it's like a little ball and these are just really cute basic little like heeled sandals so I'm gonna keep them. I believe I was sent these Steve Madden shoes as PR but they're honestly just not very comfortable for my feet even though they are cute so I might just donate them. These Betsy Johnson shoes I am also selling on my Depop if anybody is interested. I literally have only ever worn them like once so they're basically brand new and they're sold out on the Betsy Johnson website so if anybody is interested in these babies you can go to the link in the description. I don't really like Tiva sandals. Like I know they're comfortable, but a lot of them are just like ugly in my opinion. But I did find these on eBay, which were like a little less ugly than a lot of them. Um, I bought these for Italy so I'd have like comfortable walking sandals and also for Florida because I'm going to a wedding in Florida um, in July. Uh, so 
obviously I'm keeping these because I haven't had the chance to use them what they are intended for yet. These Melissa shoes are a collaboration with Thomas Benjamin and even though they're not the most practical, they literally look like cartoon fairy shoes so for that reason alone I cannot get rid of them. And these two, at least until I find white heels that I like more. I don't know if I should keep these Converse, like they're pretty old, but also like they're Converse, so like they're timeless and they go with everything. These Converse are by far the oldest pairs of shoes I own. I literally bought these when I was 11 in the sixth grade and I'm gonna be 25 in July. So I've had these for almost 14 years. Um, I'll I'll probably keep them. Um, I'm a Cancer Sun, so I'm a bit nostalgic, so I think I have to keep them. In 2018, I went through an 80s slash 90s phase, and so I bought these Nike sneakers off of Depop, and I have not really worn them since, but I feel like I should because they are really cool, so I'm keeping them. Once again, if you watch my TikTok, you know that I love these like vintage Aldo stiletto heel boots that I found at the thrift store, so I'm not getting rid of them. These Steve Madden boots, I might get rid of one day, but for now, because they're like black and basic shoes, uh, I think they're a keep. These brown booties with like this little buckle detail that I do really love because they remind me of Lorelai Gilmore like so much. So for Lorelai Gilmore and Carol King, I am keeping these. And finally, we have these Emilio Pucci moon boots, which I don't know if I should keep them or sell them. But for now, I'm just gonna leave them right over here until I decide. And here are the shoes. And then here are the shoes that I'm like selling and donating. These clothes are actually summer clothes that I took out from underneath my bed and I wanna like try on and see if I like all of them. Minus this dress, I already do love this dress and I'm bringing it with me to Italy. And then <laughs> this mountain of clothes on top of my Disney princess TV are clothes that I have listed on my Depop. Minus this skirt, I think. I do have this mountain of clothes in my bed because these are all things that I'm either like selling or putting away for winter. And speaking of selling, Loaf will also be listed on my Depop. But I'm actually impressed. Like I do think my rack and my shoes look a lot better. Like I know it's by no means perfect, but it's better and like more manageable for me. I know I said I was gonna do the clothes underneath my bed too and also the pile over there. But because I still have a huge, gigantic mountain of clothes to deal with on my bed, I think I'm done for today. As someone who experiences mental illness, I know how hard it is to keep your room and your closet organized and like neat, which is why I'm kind of filming myself doing it. So I have like some sense of accountability, but yeah, it can be really difficult and overwhelming, which is why I'm just doing it little by little. But thank you all for watching. A lot of you really seem to enjoy the first part I did of decluttering my closet, which was surprising to me because I honestly didn't think anybody would be that into it. But it makes me really happy when you guys enjoy the content I put out. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!